I'm sure you guys can tell from behind me there. Cascade but, Lakes. Uh, yeah, Cascade Lakes. We're in a giant pond, sometimes called the ocean. Mainly, I think the goal today is lingcod. I know Asher's been dying for one, and he's about to go on a trip, so maybe today is his yeah, day. Yeah, I've definitely been craving a little saltwater fishing, trying to get into some rockfish or lingcod or something like that. We spent a couple uh, nights recently striper fishing. We got skunked on both of those. Since I've been back from Belize, I haven't really done much other than a little bit of trout fishing and a little bit of playing around. So I feel real comfortable on the jetty and looking forward to getting out there. It's a little bit after sunrise, but it's basically just after sunrise and what a beautiful sunrise it is. We fish all up and down the Oregon coast. We'll hit any of the jetties, rocks or bodies of water that want to provide fish for us but this one's close to home and certainly seems to provide so we're gonna keep on mobbing get out to the end of the jetty when we get out there and get settled we'll check in with you guys again and uh let's get into some fish We made it out to the spot. It's so nice out today. You know, usually on the Oregon coast, you either get some like really, really heavy winds, heavy rains, or the swells are gnarly. Um, today, it's about as flat as can be. We just saw a boat earlier. I don't know if Asher showed you that, but they had a link on on board. Um, they're both just sitting there, not doing much. So we're about to be hitting uh, high tide, slack tide, which is primo, primo jetty fishing on any day. But I think today we're gonna be able to fish a little bit extra because the river isn't swelling too hard. Oh, we're gonna catch something, so don't go anywhere. You're watching the bite. in Asher's element. This dude always smashes it out here. Every once in a while, I'll get a better fish than him, but normally he's putting on a clinic and I'm kind of watching, so nothing has changed today. Nice, nice chunky greenling. This one's going home with us. And uh, first fish of the day, finally. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm using to catch these black rock bass. 
basically what I use to target lean cod as well. And I've got this little jig head swim bait. Uh, this one's got the little eyeballs and stuff on it, but I often use just like a regular jig head. They just had these for like a buck at the uh, tackle shop, so I grabbed them. And then on it, there's a little paddle tail, white, soft plastic kind of fish body. And then on top of that, I've got the squid wrap that you guys saw me wrapping the squid straight onto it earlier. Uh, but surprisingly enough, I've caught three fish on this and been casting it for maybe 45 minutes and I have not lost it. The jetty eats a lot of gear and I managed to hold this, but right on that, I've got just a little snap, not a whole snap swivel because I have a swivel down the line and this isn't gonna spin a lot, but a little snap to 30 pound fluorocarbon. I would usually run a larger uh, leader line, 40 or even 50 pound uh, mono or fluoro out here, but I actually had this already all tied up to the little clip. So I just used it and 30's working for me for now. Um, I'm targeting mostly black rock bass where I'd probably go larger for ling cod. Um, it's a slightly smaller bait. So I'm hoping to not have to drag as many fish up out of the rocks. So that's running about two and a half, three feet back to a swivel. And then my main line is 30 or 40 pound uh, braid. Now up my line about two feet above my little swim bait and only like six inches down from my top I stuck a little fly. Uh, you see a lot of guides put like the shrimp fly rigs. You see the shrimp fly sold in a lot of the stores. And um, I would have put a little shrimp fly here, but I tied this up the other night. It's like a little candlefish fly. If you guys are familiar with what a candlefish is, they're like a real small little bait fish you see out here in the surf all the time and stuff. And they're very, very skinny little bait fish. So I thought sticking one of those on as my uh, teaser hook wouldn't be a bad idea. Haven't gotten anything on that yet. All of my fish have been caught on this little swim bait with that little piece of squid wrapped up around the top. And I'm just casting it out up current. The current's coming in right now because the tide's coming in. I'm casting it out up current about, um, you know, 50 yards or so as far out there as I can get it. And then I'm letting it uh, drift um, down to the depths where the rock ledge meets the sand and as it gets down around there I'm dragging it back up along that edge. So kind of got the edge of the jetty We're standing up top and the rocks go all the way down to a sandy bottom and right in this zone in between There's the sandy bottom and you get a bunch of rockfish and greenling and then you get more rockfish And then you get your ling cod and rockfish and they're all kind of stacked in between on that layer And so I'm just dragging up through that bottom zone trying to find some of the biggest ling cod that are in that deep section hanging out out up through that next zone where there's a bunch of black rockfish there'll be a few more ling cod in that 10 15 feet uh, range and I'm just pulling it up through those sections fanning along the side of the jetty and uh, this produces fish really pretty good if you want to get into black rock bass or ling cod throwing a little swim bait like this wrapped up in squid I think that's the go-to if you want to target green ling and black rock specifically uh, just using a little bit of bait or something like that some little over under uh, rigs with soft plastic sand shrimp are pretty much the best thing you could use for green ling night crawlers work pretty well too cut bait like anchovy and herring and stuff like that but if you want to get yourself into ling cod and black rock bass, a little swim bait like this with a little bit of squid tied onto the top is candy and will work wonders for you out on the jetty. And that's how I'm getting into all of my fish today. And I'm going to go drag that across the bottom again and stick another rock fish right now. Cool if I could do it on this cast. I might be a fish. I could be bottom, but I think that's a fish. It is a fish! A starfish! These are just such a top table fare. They taste so good. It's like a classic Pacific rockfish, and uh, they fry up perfectly. Fish tacos, fried anything, you know, fish burgers, fish and chips, stuff like that. It's a perfect fish for that, and uh, fish tacos are pretty much my favorite way to eat fish, so. 
you. Those are the big ones for the day. That's the slightly smaller guy, and here's a uh, green leg. Nice in the head. But they're gonna make great fish tacos. These are really wonderful eating fish, and these are nice, thick, stout fish. They got good fillets on them, so I'm gonna fillet them up and pretty hyped on that.